grandfather must have walled it up before he lost the house. And then shines forth the Eagle's Cross. I can see the cross, man. Where's the Eagle? St. John the Evangelist, who was always depicted with an eagle. And he's called the Eagle of Patmos. He is the Eagle. What's he trying to tell us, Captain? I'm at a loss. <laughs> that island, the one in the middle, that doesn't exist. How do you know? Yeah, because I've sailed those waters countless times. I've been there. It's, it's a mistake. Sir Francis wanted his inheritance to go to a man who was worthy of it. A man like himself, who knows the seas like the back of his hand. A man who could look at a globe and tell if one tiny island was out of place. Oh. A wee tip of a toast to our good fortune. Oh, that's better. Oh, it's odd, really. You would have thought after all the fuss and bother there would have been more. More of what? Red Rackham's treasure. I mean, but your account he looted half of South America. I just thought. Ah, never mind. There's plenty to go around. <laughs> oh, it's a funny old life, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, you've got your story for your newspaper. All's well that ends well. It's not ended. Sir Francis left another clue at the bottom of the globe. A clue to what? 400 weight of gold. Just lying at the bottom of the sea. How's your thirst for adventure, Captain? Unquenchable, Tintin.